Well, here we go, folks. Today we're going to talk about Popeye, one of the all-time great legendary animated cartoon characters of all time. Popeye's almost been around for a hundred years now, practically an institution in himself. He was strong to the finish because he ate his spinach. He was Popeye the Sailor Man, and uh, one of the all-time legendary favorites. We all love Popeye. We all know Popeye. And such an institutional character, figure, you name it. There was a lot of stuff on him. That makes him very marketable, and that's what I'm here for. We're, this is Collector's World. My name is Dr. J. If you're watching this, do me a big, huge favor and hit that subscribe button right above my head there. Come on, hit that button and uh, check out all the episodes of Collector's World and and uh, all the other videos I have there. You, hopefully, you'll find something you're like you're going to like. But let's talk about Popeye today, shall we? Boy, there was a lot of stuff. I don't even know where to begin. We'll talk about the movie as well, the famous 1980 movie with Robin Williams. And, uh, and of course, the cartoons and whatnot. We're going to try to cover everything as much as we can in a 10-minute vlog here. So uh, let's start basically anywhere. Everything on Popeye, I kid you not. And we'll just start with random items here. These were Popeye wristbands. So you could actually wear Popeye on your wrists. Popeye, you know, they're, they're, this is a bendable, posable action figure. And uh, they're b I'm telling you, I am not kidding. Look at that great, great shot of the character on the back of this. And uh, Popeye, I'm telling you, there was everything. I'm not going to, you know, go on about this, but uh, this is a Popeye mug. And literally anything you could slap Popeye's image on, they do. And, that, and you know, this is probably, we're talking, uh, you know, perhaps next to Mickey Mouse, one of the most marketable figures ever. And uh, Popeye action figures literally of all sorts. And... Different variations, different Popeyes you could get. Of course, olive oil, Bluto, Wimpy, you name it. Popeye. Of course, we all know his father, Poop Deck Pappy. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the DVDs right away. Uh, just to get into this, videotapes, DVDs, you know. Uh, Popeye has been available uh, on all sorts of DVDs for many years. And this is 70 years of uh, Popeye at the time. As I told you, we're approaching 100 here very quickly. And uh, this has all the great classic animated cartoons with Popeye. Great features, I might add, on these discs. But very recently, very recently, one of the greatest collections that I myself have ever seen in all my travels when it comes to DVD shopping. And uh, that's the Popeye series that was put out, uh, covering the cartoons 1933 to 1938. And these were, of course, the, uh, the very early cartoons, the very, very first cartoons put out on Popeye. And I am telling you, the features are phenomenal. If you're going to get any DVD box sets, you're looking at it right here, this is what you want to get. And of course, that was only Volume 1, 1938 to 40. And again, again, fantastic features. You know, and that's the great thing. You know, you could sit your kids down nowadays to watch this stuff, and uh, they're going to have a great time. You know, these cartoons literally are, you know, immortal. They're forever. Volume 3, 1941 to 1943, of course, there was the famous cartoon series, I believe, in the 70s or 80s that came out. Uh, and, you know, Popeye's been around for decades. Interesting collectible items on Popeye of all sorts, Popeye ties. And as I said, no end to it. Here you go, Popeye boxer shorts, strong to the finish. There he is, Popeye boxer shorts. In another word, underwear. Uh, literally everything. T-shirts, you know, hats, you name it, they had it. And I mean, you name it, they had it. Uh, books. There was great, great books that came out. Uh, this is a Flip It book. Um, or, anyways, it had the Flip It cartoons. These were mini books, Popeye and Queen Olive Oil. And uh, pretty cool stories, great photographs. And let's see if we can do it. If you flip it, Popeye appears to move. Very, very cool. And these were, there it is, Popeye. What a great, great book. I remember actually getting this as a kid, and uh, just a great, great book. Now, here's the neat thing about Popeye, is literally, they just recently put out a fantastic book series covering, you know, Popeye from the early uh, comic strips on up, the Thimble Theater comic strips. That's where we first saw Popeye. And uh, this is a very, very, this is an oversized book set here. Let's see if we can get a little bit of, Focus there. And uh, this is the first of, it's going to be six volumes, P-O-P-E-Y-E, -E, and each book has a letter. And it's going to obviously form the word Popeye when it's done. 
And I believe we are at uh, four volumes so far. They haven't released the rest. But these are the famous comic strips reprinted in oversized hardcover book form. And I am telling you, find something cooler, I dare you. Not going to happen. Look at that. Popeye Book Volume 4. So I am eagerly awaiting the other two. Now, we got to talk about, as I mentioned, the movie Popeye that came out with Robin Williams. And uh, there was some neat stuff. This is the videotape. The movie is, of course, available on DVD. I myself love the film. Uh, they made it a musical. And speaking of which, here is the CD soundtrack, you know, which was only for many years available on record. And uh, you actually can't get this in North America. This is the Japanese uh, version. This was put out in Japan. And... Uh, so the uh, text is partly in Japanese and in English. And, uh, of course, soundtrack was sung by Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall. Very, very, very difficult to find, but, but I'm telling you, very, very, very worth it if you do. And uh, there were Popeye books. This is the making of the film. How it all happened, right here. More than 200 photographs, behind-the-scenes pictures, and, uh, again, we'll do a little flippant action here. Great text on the making of the film and uh, great photographic history. Look at this. There it is. Popeye, the storybook based on the movie. And you want to talk about great photographs. See, I have the feeling that as soon as I am finished filming this, I'm going to go put the uh, video or DVD in the player and watch the movie right away. I mean, I, you know, I love the film that much. And uh, this was a great book. Uh, there were a few of these around back in the, uh, I think, early mid-80s. And they essentially were this, movie novels. There were miniature versions, you know, flip it books, uh, photo novels, whatever they called them. And, uh, but this is pro these are probably my favorite collectibles all t all, you know, of, of all time, because I love the photographs from the film. And in this case here, it basically is the whole movie in full-color photographs. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. And uh, I wish they continued to make these nowadays. I think the odd one you might get on uh, on a various uh, film or collectible subject or whatever. But uh, but uh, in my opinion, they should be out there for everything. These are great books. Uh, this is a Japanese uh, film program. So obviously you can't really get them in North America. you got to do a little bit of, uh, you know, overseas shopping. And that's where places like eBay and all that come in very handy. So as you can see, the text is in Japanese, and some of it is in English, and great photographs. These are great books, I, and I'm telling you, I absolutely love Japanese po uh, film programs. They are amazing. This is the actual movie program, movie special number 7, or 80-7, I guess. But there it is, the Popeye film program, and again, great text, great, great photographs, really great photographs. Some animated pictures as well. What a great collectible. So Popeye, as you can tell, literally, they made everything on Popeye. One of the greatest characters of all time. There's a big, huge poster. You gotta love Popeye. Strong to the finish, because he ate his spinach. Popeye the Sailor Man.